Guys, today the demonstration of this equipment, the Elecraft KXPA100, the amplifier for the KX-3 that can also be used in other QRP radios. The equipment here is very compact. There's a side handle here to carry the equipment, portable operation, something like that. Here are the serial number, FCC identification, seals. Let's see back here. Take a look back here at what the equipment's inputs look like. Aquí. Here, serial input connected to the computer, software update. You can also monitor the operation, temperature, current, voltage, and everything else. Output for external linear amplifiers, it switches to a high power amplifier here with a 3 decibel attenuator in case we need to reduce the excitation power if we cannot regulate it from this attenuator. There is this attenuator here that also goes into automatic operation here, right? Or directly connected here, right? Here we have the power input, 13.8 volts, and we can insert this second connector here to power the radio. In this case, the KX3. This one is the control integration cable. In the case of the KX3, this cable comes here. You have an output here that would be the accessory output here. It replicates this output that you have here on the side of the radio. You can also switch the external amplifier here, as is the case with this RCA output. Yeah. The difference is that here, it is only for the external amplifier switch. Here, you can replicate all the functions of the accessory output here on the KX3. Then we have the RF input, equipment grounding point, antenna 1 and antenna 2. This model is equipped with an automatic antenna coupler, which is why it has two outputs. Otherwise, it would only come with antenna output 1. This output is closed here. Well, let's connect the equipment here so we can take a look at it in operation, how it works. We can turn on the equipment from the radio or using this button here. This is an option. If you use it with another equipment other than the KX3, you'll probably have to call here. Here, as the integration is total, we connect it from CAXIS 3. There it is. The equipment is on. So here we have these LEDs indicate the output power when the attenuator enters the line, either automatically or because we set it on the rear. Here is this LED here when it is transmitting, and here indicating whether the equipment is on or not. These three LEDs here indicate the operation of the antenna coupler, automatic. If we pass without using the bypass or manual coupler, we tune it afterwards. It doesn't change regardless of whether or not there is an increase in standing waves here. In automatic, after coupled, detuned. If you change antenna something and it doesn't retune, when you start transmitting, it retune here. Indication that the antenna that is selected for the output, we can change the antenna with this button by holding it. Or, in this case, from the radio, we hold this one and also change it.
The same indication changes here on the radio display as on the amplifier's front panel. Yeah. You can see antenna one, antenna two. This X that appears next to this indication means that it is referring to the amplifier. Okay. Let's see here. Let's put it in continuous carrier transmission. Here the LED is showing 1.2x1 standing waves, around 90 watts of output. On the radio display here, 91.92 watts, 1.2x1. We can check the external bath meter between 91 and 92 watt. Here you can also monitor the temperature of the equipment, 33 degrees. Again here, the indication of X after the PA is that it is reading from the amplifier and not from the radio. Internal temperature of the radio oscillator, now 32 degrees. Temperature of the final amplifier tank, 31.30 falling after the transmission we just made. Let's see here how the temperature rises as we transmit. Starting to climb. The temperature rises very slowly. Look at 34, 33, it alternates there like that. Let's not be too judgmental. 35. Ventilation. It's ventilation dissipates heat here through this heat exchanger, natural ventilation. There is no type of wind, nothing very silent. So that's it, folks. The integration here, the KX3 is excellent. The equipment works and is very light, very easy to transport. Let's go take a look here at the transmission mode. What is the current demand that we have? Have other equipment connected, right? At a moment here without transmitting yet with 800 milliamps. Let's see how the intermission 17A2112V here at the source, the source there decreased, returned to 13.8V, 13.75V with 800 MNA of current. Okay, guys, I think this gives you an idea of how the equipment operates. Relatively new equipment. Sometimes people are curious to know what it is like and what it isn't. Sempre gosto de dar um depoimento e fazer uma pequena demonstração aí. Se alguém está pensando em adquirir ou coisa do tipo, já tem alguma referência aí. Ok, um abraço a todos aí.